Bootstrap is a library I've been using for a long time. And yet there's a question that I always see pop up. It doesn't matter which social media forum I'm on or what time period I'm posting. The question of whether people should even be using Bootstrap or whether they should be writing out their CSS on their own is something that I see pop up all the time. And it's a good question to have. It really depends on what you're working on. But for me personally, I almost always implement Bootstrap in a lot of my projects. And there's a few reasons behind this. And for me, the most important reason is that it saves me a lot of time, which respectively saves me a lot of money. The reason it saves me a lot of time is because a lot of the CSS markup that Bootstrap provides enables me to not worry about having to write all that CSS out. It means that rather than creating media queries and responsive design for my CSS, it's ready to go via Bootstrap. And I know that, yes, I could write this out myself. And yes, I could probably save on a lot of space. But what is space anyway? A lot of people implement lots of photos on their websites and just one photo could easily be larger than the Bootstrap library itself. And while the Bootstrap library does have lots of other classes you might never use, being able to have those at your disposal at any point in time, whether you're having to do some updates in the future, or even if you're just doing basic development, will make it much easier for you. As you slowly learn Bootstrap and you work through the classes and you learn what they do, this makes you more efficient as a developer. You can utilize these more in practice and rather than creating both HTML and CSS, you can focus more on just the HTML itself and develop your websites faster, which is a real world saving. Clients also don't really care whether you're using Bootstrap or Tailwind CSS or no framework whatsoever. As long as the project is created, that's all they worry about. So if you're able to deliver the project faster or even on time, and you make sure that it's easier to mark up in terms of your CSS as well, then why not? It's a good way to be able to do a job better than if you are just writing it all out by hand, which sometimes can be tedious. And Bootstrap has a lot of tools at your disposal to do this. They've got things for responsive design, changing colors, doing forms, all the small stuff you're doing every single day in websites are right there at your fingertips ready to go. And I think there's a lot of benefit to this. For me, I'm doing a lot of projects every day. So I know that I usually get the most benefit out of it. And the other aspect to this is that Bootstrap, it isn't limited just to one thing. It's not just for making a WordPress website or a React website. It can be applied anywhere. So that means that once you've learned it and you're working on different types of projects, you can apply it anywhere, which is really useful to be able to make sure that what you're working on is done as efficiently as possible. There are a number of other reasons that I also like it, and it's dropping in size as well. Even with the new version five, wherever they've dropped jQuery makes it a lot more lightweight. And I see a lot of benefits to using it as well in the future. Yes, sure, it's dropping IE support, but who really worries about IE these days anyway? But if you do, you still can use a older version of it. So you're still able to make sure that you have that compatibility that you might need. Anyway, these are the reasons that I think that Bootstrap is a good library to learn and use because it has use purposes depending on what you're working on. And I know that it saves me time and saves me money. My name's Adrian and I do videos around design and development. So if you haven't already, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.